In today's video, I'll be covering various different ways we can manage our window using Selenium Python. First in this PowerPoint, I'll cover the different commands that we can use in Selenium Python to manipulate our windows, to get different information about our windows, and so on. And then I'll show you some examples using code, how we can use this in our own uh, Selenium Python project. So the first command we're going to be covering is get window size. And like this says, we're just getting the size of our window. And one command you can use is driver dot get underscore window underscore size dot get height, or you can get width depending on what dimension you want. You can also store these dimensions using a variable by using get window size and not specifying what specific uh, dimension you want. And then afterwards, you can get the width and height after depending on what you need later on. You can also set your window size. Uh, and so what we do is we use set window size, and this will specify how big you want the window on your screen. And so this is 1024 pixels by 768 pixels. Next thing you can do is you can access each dimension of the window position. For example, you can store it in window position by using driver.getWindowPosition, and then you can use position.getX, position.getY to get the XY coordinates of the window. You can also move the window to a specific position on your screen as well by using driver.setWindowPosition. And so this is 100x, 100y. And you can also use window, max, min, and full screen to manipulate your windows. So window maximize window would be making it big, minimize window would be making it small, and then full screen window would be making it full screen. You can also use page screenshot to take a picture of your current screen. And what we do is we use driver.save screenshot to do that. You can also take screenshots of specific web elements on a web page. For example, if you only want a small portion of the web page being taken up, a screenshot of, you can use the command uh, image.screenshot after you define which element the image is in order to take the screenshot of that specific image on your page. And finally, you can also store the header element. And how do you store the header element? Well, first you have to define the header element by its CSS selector, and then you can execute some JavaScript to store that header element. And so I'll be showing you how to do all of this in your own Selenium Python project. So right here, I have my project open up from previous videos. Um, if you uh, want to know how I got to this point in the project, you can go ahead and pause this video right now and look at our previous videos to see how we came up with all of these different, uh, different Python scripts uh, to get to where we are currently. But we don't need the information or knowledge of these current, uh, previous scripts in order to understand what's going on today. So without further ado, I can actually close all these windows and we can just focus on what we need to know and what we want to see today. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to create a new script in this, and I'm going to go to this test folder right here, and then I'm going to right click and then create a new Python file. And I'm going to name it test underscore selenium manage window. And this is our new test script. And notice how I always start all of my test uh, scripts with test underscore and this is a requirement a pi test and so uh for the sake of this video just know that we have to do this because this is a requirement of pi test if you're interested why i suggest you go look at some uh, some of our previous videos uh to understand why we do this but yeah so in this i'm going to go through each of the commands we talked about earlier uh and show you how we can use that in our own code so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to import some dependencies so I will go ahead and import a few things. So import time, import the web driver, and then also import print options and so on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create our first test. And this first test is dealing with window size. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a test one. one and what I'm going to be passing into test one is Chrome and for Chrome um, if you're not familiar with what Chrome is uh, Chrome is basically 
the web browser that we'll be using uh, to start a web driver. So it's not here currently, but if we look at here, for example, uh, if we look here, so this is, we used Firefox here, but if we look at another example, maybe this one, this is Edge. So let me look up this example. This is Firefox. If I look at this example, this one is this contest. So if I go to my contest right here, I see that I've already specified what Chrome is. And Chrome is basically when we start a web driver using the Chrome web driver. And I have the tag pytest.fixture, and it's in the file conftest. And what this allows you to do when you use the pytest uh, package is it allows you to pass this function as an argument into other, uh, into other different functions within the same project. And so if I go back to my Selenium manage window here, I can just pass Chrome directly into this function. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this first test by passing Chrome. And I'm actually going to be telling it to do a few things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to go to this web page, and then I'm going to tell it to sleep for three seconds. And then I'm going to define the width equal to chrome.getShape underscore window size. And then after that, I'm going to say dot get, and I'm going to tell it to get the width. And then I'm going to say that the height is equal to chrome.get underscore window size again. Uh, but this time, this is equal to get dot height. And once I have that, I'm just going to tell it to print a few things for us. Uh, so I'm going to tell it to print off what the height it got and what's the width that it got right here. So that's the first test. Uh, let me go ahead and run this and show you what it looks like. So it opens up onto my other screen, so I'll have to drag it over for the sake of this video right here. And then it'll sleep for three seconds. And then it'll grab the window width and the window height, as we see here. Now, let me create a second test, but let me show you a different way we can grab these different features and different uh, statistics. So this will be test two, underscore two. And again, we'll be passing in Chrome and uh, we're going to be using, um, we're going to tell it to go to the same web page right here. So we're going to keep this the same. But this time what we're going to tell it to do is size is equal to chrome.get window size. So we'll save the size parameter first. And then we'll access the width and height separately. So we'll do size.get. And this one will specify width. And then the next one would say that height is equal to size dot get. Uh, this will be height right here. And again, we'll tell it to print what the width and height that we got uh, right here. So like that. So if I go ahead and run this again, I run this test. I'll drag it over from the other window. I'll leave it for a few seconds and it should close by itself. And then we see it gets its width and height again. And it's the same uh, quantities. So next, I'm going to show you the third test. And in the third test, we're going to do something different. We're going to I'll show you. But what we're going to do is we're going to set the window size. So let me do this. We'll pass Chrome in again. And then we'll say, uh, we'll go to the same web page, same URL, and then this time we're going to do chrome.set underscore window size, and it's gonna we're going to set it as two two four nine six eight, and um, since uh, we're mostly doing the same thing as above, I'm just going to copy and paste this over. We're just basically going to get the width and height and see if it, we actually set the window size properly. So this should be this. Uh, and then now I can go ahead and run this. Again, I'll have to drag it over before. So that's why I sleep it for three seconds. Now, after it sleeps for three seconds, it'll manually increase in size as you saw briefly, and then we'll grab the different, uh, the different quantities. So you see right there. Okay, so that's the third test. Let me show you the fourth test now. Uh, we'll name this test four, and again, we'll pass in Chrome. 
And in this test, what we're going to do is we're actually going to get the X and Y positions of our window. So let's first go to this URL right here. And then next, what we're going to do, we're going to say chrome.get window position. And we're going to say that we can get the X right here. And then the Y is equal to chrome.get window position. And this is get dot Y. And then we're going to print these quantities again. So right here, and let's see if it does it properly. So I guess depending on which location I drag and drop it on in this web page, it'll make a difference. So if I drag it there, this is what it, the difference is. So this is our X and Y quantities. So let me do this again, but this time instead, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the positions using a different method. So again, I'll name it test five, name it Chrome, pass in Chrome. Uh, and then this time, since it's very similar to what we did previously, I'm just going to copy and paste this entire code that I've written already over. And so instead we save it into position and then we get it separately afterwards. So go ahead and run this. Drag it over. Now it'll basically grab the quantity. See, I dragged it to a different location here. So the different, so the position should be different again. So yeah, the position is different as we see. Okay, so now let's move on to test six. Uh, so I'll make this test six, pass in Chrome. And we'll do chrome.get. Uh, well, actually, I will do this. I'll tell it to go to this URL again. But this time, what I'm going to do is chrome.set window position. So I'll set the window position to minus 600, minus 200. And then I'll tell it to sleep for two seconds. And then I will basically, using the commands to get the position of the window, I will get the position of the window using these commands right here. Let me run this again and see what happens. So again, I'll drag over, but this time it should uh, move by itself. You see, it moves by itself because we're setting the position of the window using this command. And you see that this is the, the X, Y position after we set it to those coordinates. Okay, so let me move on to number, uh, test number seven. Uh, this test will basically uh, manipulate the window size. So name it test seven. And again, I'll pass Chrome in. And then this time we're going to go to this URL and I'm going to use a various uh, different commands. So first I'm going to do maximize window. And now I'm going to tell it to sleep for one second. Then I'll tell it to minimize window. And then I'll tell it to sleep for one second again. And then I'll tell it to full screen the window. And then I'll tell it to sleep for two seconds. And let me show you what this looks like. So I'll drag it over. So the first thing it should do is maximize the window. As we see, it maximizes it, then it minimizes it, and now it's full screening it. So that's our second, uh, seventh test. The next thing I'll show you what we can do is some different things we can do for screenshotting. So let's just show you a few things. So I will paste this over here. So in this one, we're basically going to this URL, but we're just using save screenshot in order to save a screenshot to our file location. And if I take a picture, uh, let me fix this file location. So this should be Python tutorial. And then now let me run this. I drag this over. It should take a screenshot. It takes a screenshot and then it says it's done. And we see that it's saved right here. Open the screenshot. This is what it looks like. 
the next thing I can do is we can take a screenshot of a specific element on our web page. So again, let me call it def test take element uh, element screenshot. And again, I'm passing my Chrome in. Chrome back. Actually, I'll just paste this over to save some time. And this time I'm going to specify what element I want to take a screenshot of. So I'm going to do chrome.findElement. And I'm actually just going to copy over this information so I don't mess up typing it. But I'm basically using the XPath value of the element, and this is what it is. And then after I find and specify which element I have, I'm just going to do image.screenshot. And then this will take a screenshot of the image. And again, I'm going to take this and make sure I I have so I'm going to take this command right here and make sure I get the right location to save it and this time I'm going to name it screenshot 2 and let me run this and show you what happens so go ahead uh, drag it over and it'll specify the image uh, or the uh, the thing and then it'll take a screenshot and now let me open screenshot 2 it takes a screenshot of this portion specifically. And yeah, so that's what this part does. And now let me show you the final test that we're gonna do. Uh, this one will be using uh, the header element. So let me call it that test header. This will be Chrome. Uh, and again, I'll use, uh, do that. And I'll say header is, equal to chrome dot find element and i'm going to say that this element is defined by its uh css selector uh which is basically header one and uh what i'll do is i'll tell it to basically print this header using the javascript command so this will be execute execute script right here and this will be uh i'll say Let's do return arguments zero uh, dot inner text. So that's the command we're using. And then let's say header. So go ahead and run this. Uh, I can drag this over. It'll basically grab the header from this web page. Um, so, so it says no such element. Uh, it'll keep running. Uh, it's still collecting the element. Uh, and afterwards, it says the test has failed. So let me see why it failed. Uh, I'll find element. Okay, so uh, actually, I specified the wrong URL location. Because on our web page, this specific header that we were looking for is at this URL. So that was my bad. Let me set that there. And let me try to run this again. Again, drag this over. We see that it has the header right here now. And it passes the header, web elements and locators. And yeah, so I've showed you a various different, different commands we can use for managing your windows. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, thank you for listening. We look forward to seeing you next time.